Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. For anybody that's new to the channel, here's two hands and here's the radio we're going to look at today. A channel where we look at inexpensive radios and sometimes other expensive stuff. Today we're going to look at one, an interesting little radio that caught my eye and I just thought I gotta have it. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Usually means I spend too much money. But this is, is the brand name is Gradio. G-R-E-A-D-O. D-I-O. Uh, Gradio. The R916, I think it is. I can hardly read their scribbles. Uh, interesting radio. The packaging is interesting. Uh, everything's kind of interesting. Almost sent it back. It was 24 and some change on eBay. You can find it on Amazon, eBay. There's a whole line of these things. And it's wood. It is a cherry wood radio. I don't like flies that hang on to me. Uh, I did disconnect the wrist strap. It was on there and just nice, nicely wrapped on the back, and I took it off because you know how we don't care about that. Uh, instruction sheet. Nice little instruction sheet. Starting to rain. Yeah, the R916. G-R-E-A-D-I-O. Gradio. And here it is. What it looks like, to me, it looks like a Seamir S236. Um... S-E-M-I-E-R. I don't know how you pronounce it. Maybe it's pronounced Semir. Uh, Semir. Semir. I don't know. I, the pronunciation police will be thrilled to ravage me with how it's pronounced. I say Semir. You say whatever you want. Uh, looks exactly like the S-236. It's four and a half inches tall, two and a half inches wide, inch and a quarter thick. The one thing is you never see the back of this radio, and that's because the cherry wood is just the front. The back looks a lot like the S236. Very cheap plastic. Uh, anyway, but it has the old-fashioned tuning knob here. This lights up kind of an orangish yellow. It's really kind of pretty in its own little way. Got a brilliant power light and tune light. The right hand side we have the reason I almost sent this back the volume wheel was impossible to move it was so stiff you could dig your nail into it and hardly move it and I thought I'm gonna send it back I was not not thrilled with that at all and in the middle of my let's just send it back I noticed out of everything on here there are two Phillips screws here and I wonder, of course, you know, two hands doesn't fix stuff. I tear things up. And I had the notion that if this was a Seamir S236, they've taken the cover off and they've put their wood cover on and tightened it down too tight. Loosen these two screws up, and it actually is functional now. It's not the best, but at least it's functional. I suppose someone could pull this apart and maybe do some kind of magic ring on the inside but that would be about the point where i'd have to throw it out because i, you know, I just don't i'm not very handy with that stuff anyway that you have an on off uh, off switch on off am fm very straightforward backside fm am there's the range you can stop and look at that battery door is there we have uh, two AA batteries the top battery, the positive goes to the left. The bottom battery, the positive goes to the right for battery orientation. Left-hand side is nothing. We do have a whopping eight and a quarter inch antenna. Don't need much antenna with FM. Uh, just don't don't need a whole lot, so it, it doesn't have to be a stellar 46 inch antenna. Eight and a quarter will do. And with that, let's just start on some FM. And you can already probably maybe see the power lights on. It's a blinding little light. 
see if we can get our volume where you can hear it. Now I couldn't even turn it like that yesterday. No, she left Russia. Russia never really left her. That I believe is 88.7. Which is kind of the the base that that I look at. See how loud that is. Music has always been a huge part of my repertoire. So yeah, I I definitely got a really good audio. I think the wood helps the audio somehow. From ADP, committed to designing a better way to work. So we can't hover around music too long. The office of the Indiana Attorney General. This is FM. <laughs> and aggressively. Don't know if you can see the. I was in way over my head. If you can see the tuning light there lights up, it's not as bright as the power line. Most other capacity of all it tunes so easy just very fluid yeah we'll stop the music there I don't know it does have a, a headphone jack I don't know if it's stereo or not it doesn't really advertise anything as it starts to rain we're really gonna have to hurry up here I don't know if it's stereo or not. I'm going to say probably not. Let's quickly go through AM as it is starting to rain. There's 700 WLW. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. station to be at. It's in there somewhere. That's probably 1070. Well, that's coming in good. For Indianapolis, that's coming in really good. I can find 1390. That might be 1390, I'd say. Another little, another little benchmark is 1390 that I kind of use. If it can get that, it's not all bad. Not a bad little radio, really. <laughs> once once you get the volume, no, on the volume thing, is I immediately, since I bought this off eBay, of course there's no reviews or anything really, uh, but I went to Amazon and I found this, and I said, what are the reviews on this thing? One person had three of these, and all three had a volume wheel that would not turn. And I said, wonderful. And that's when I was gonna return it and figure it out how to do that and maybe that's not the best fix on earth but at least for the review it got it fixed and uh, this is a stellar little FM radio and I don't know if it has anything to do with the the audio bounceability of wood and the bounceability is a highly technical word uh, I don't know if if that enhances the the audio any or not I don't know I don't own one of the Samir S236s to even be able to compare the two. But an interesting little radio. 
and really, really, really good audio. I like that. And medium wave is not bad. We're looking at 10 o'clock in the morning, South Central Indiana. You saw that we got a lot of medium wave stations. That only gets better at night, obviously. Ah, uh, I don't know. Hmm. One out of ten. Zero out of ten, I'm sorry. Zero being the worst, ten being the absolute best there is. It's neither one of those. Five is where it does what it's supposed to do, but doesn't excel. Hmm. It did that. I mean, I think it's, it's better reception than a five. The thing that really knocks it down is if you get a hold of this and the volume wheel does not turn. It turns pretty easy now. Uh, if you get one that doesn't turn, you shouldn't have to go loosening screws up and things to to make it work. I think that's that's a that's a big minus in my book. But I'm still now that it's fixed, the audio is nice. It will stand up on its own. Uh, there's no kickstand or anything. You could put the uh, wrist strap on it, hang it from someplace if you want to. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I have to hurry up because my wood's getting wet. <laughs> I can think of a lot worse things than wet wood. <clears throat> uh, but I digress. <laughs> uh, you knew somewhere in there I was going to have to digress. Um, you know, I like it. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10, just because I like it. Uh, like I said, they make a whole line of these vintage radios, and they get really expensive, and I don't think I would buy another one. Uh, they make another almost like a little desktop kind of thing. I mean, you can make this a desktop thing, but it's kind of a long thing. I think it's around $50. I just nah, I don't know about that. It, it's getting a little too pricey. But I know you can't see the the lighted dials coming orange and yellow. You can't see it at all out here. But that at night, uh, you know, in, in inside in your house, wherever, that just glows. And it looks like the old-fashioned dial, which is really kind of cool. So, yeah, we'll we'll go a little better than a five on this one. Not much, but a little. And that's all I got. Now that it feels like it's starting to stop raining, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a link down yonder that you can donate through PayPal. Uh, any amount is appreciated. A dollar, two dollars, whatever. Uh, it all goes to buy radios like this just to keep content going in the channel and, and to review more radios for everybody. Uh, that's it. This has been the Gradio. And I'm sure that's not pronounced like that either. Gradagio, I suppose. The R916. I can read that part. Cute little radio something fun and there's there's the key to the whole video having fun and this is a fun radio this would be a fun fun one to listen to the uh, stanley cup playoffs on and and sink down into that you will not get ear fatigue with this radio so with that i hope you go out and make it a great day we'll see you at the next review